Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply. This video is to bring you a closer look at the Irwin, part number T1C. This is the main screw for their number three, uh, what they call their mechanics vise. Their part number for that is a 1ZR, and I'm gonna sh I will show you in the catalog where all that is. This video is to simply serve as visual and dimensional evidence of this main screw. Weighs about 0.99 pound, just shy of one pound. Some basic dimensional prop, uh, properties. Underneath the head to the end of the bolt, looks like it's about seven and five eighths. Okay. I'm gonna pull up the diameter of the bolt with the caliper. A point five four five point five four five outside diameter. Um, let's see if we can gauge. I can count how many threads there are per inch, of course. Looks like there's about twelve threads per inch. Yeah, I would say 12 threads per inch is what that is. Um, just using my caliper, marking off one inch, and then counting the quantity of revolutions, okay? Other parts are gonna be uh, included here. I don't know the technical term for this yoke item, which is what's gonna be responsible for driving the, um, you know, the two uh, jaws, so to speak, together. Overall length of that piece, overall length, about two and an eighth, okay? Outside diameter of that piece, looks like it's about 11 sixteenths. You're going to also, of course, get a screw, oh, pardon me, a spring. That length of the spring is about 1.06 inch, so about an inch and a sixteenth. The outside diameter of the spring is 0 0.762, 0 0.762. Yeah, the spring is not, the profile of the wire itself is not round, it is flattened. Um, it has a width, I would say, of about 0 0.07, and it has a thickness. Point oh sixty five. Actually, dimensionally, it's practically the same. could just be where I'm putting my caliper around the piece. I'm going to go with round. It could be that the point of the spring that I was putting my caliper on was a bit flattened, probably from the manufacturing process. A pin, a steel, uh, probably a, maybe a stainless. No, it's a steel pin. Diameter of that, 0.19 inch. 0.19 is the diameter. Length of the pin, 1.115. There's a roll pin as well. That's what's going to allow you to keep uh, the unit, the main screw in place. 0.783 length, diameter of that roll pin, 0.13 inch, and you simply have a washer. Sorry about that call. And now that last component that we have to measure the washer, outside diameter, 0 0.838, 0 0.838 outside diameter, inside diameter, 0 0.584, 0 0.584, thickness of the washer, 0 0.064, 0 0.064. Let's switch to the screen view now where we can take a closer look at all of the supporting information. If you are enjoying this video, please click thumbs up or like, and also please consider subscribing to our channel.
let's move on to the rest of the video. Here is the item that we are indeed looking at. We have some photographs that we can take a look at first of the actual item. There's the label, the contents, that's what you're going to get when you order it. Showing the threads. Let's take a look at a few more images, the handle component, sliding handle, the accessories. There you go. Now, extended description information, it tells us that this is for the 1ZR mechanics uh, vise. So the client that I'm working with now, attempting to determine if this is the right vise, the client's very confident that it is an Irwin unit. And the one distinguishing characteristic that the client could provide was the length of the jaw. Well, let's take a look at that. The client said it was four inch in length. So let's look at the product brochure. And I happen to know that a jaw part number is T6D. So I'm gonna to go to where I know the replacement jaws are. And the only jaw that's four inch is for the number three mechanics vise. The number three mechanics vise is here. That is a part number one ZR. Okay, so let's search now. We know that it's a one ZR, a number three mechanics vise. Let's now search for the main screw in this document. Sorry. Whoa. Here's the table of main screws. So what we're dealing with here is either the 1ZR mechanics vise or the number three mechanics vise. They take a T1C and a T3C. So unfortunately that doesn't absolutely narrow it down because they're giving us a three, a number, a, a a th well, that's a three inch mechanics vise. Let's take a look. And using this information, it appears as if the only, the uh, main screw for the number three mechanics vise is indeed going to be the T3C. So hopefully the T3C is the proper item for that. And we will um, provide the, uh, dimensional evidence of that T3C to the client uh, for the main screw, hoping that that is the right size. Um, I would say that the reference to 1ZR is for a 3-inch mechanics vise, not a number 3 mechanic, uh, mechanics vise. Those are two different items completely, number 3 mechanics vise. Now, there is a table up in the beginning showing mechanics vices. So this part number here, 4935504, it's right here. So if this 4935504 vice as seen here visually matches the vice that the client has, then I would say that the T3C is going to be the proper main screw. And we can take a closer look at that. T3C. Oh. Okay. I have one in stock, so we're going to end up sending this information to the client as well to review that. Okay, now there is a link below this video as seen here to the manufacturer's page where you can pull up not only all of the Irwin products that we sell by means of this horizontal navigation as seen here, but also a link to the manufacturer's website as well as a link to the most current product catalog that we have. Unfortunately, it's quite out of date. I can't explain why that's the case with Irwin. Newell or Rubbermaid or whoever owns them. Um, it would be nice if there was a document that was from this decade, uh, given how popular of a line the Irwin tools are. Anyway, let's wrap up this video on camera. If you are enjoying this video, please click thumbs up or like, and also please consider subscribing to our channel. Let's move on to the rest of the video. Okay, in conclusion, if you have any questions on the T1C replacement main screw for the 1ZR vise or any other Irwin product, please feel free to reach out to us. And thank you very much.
Again, thank you for watching, and if you've enjoyed this video, please click thumbs up. Please subscribe and maybe even send the video to someone that you know. Thank you.